good morning. So let me fill you in on the morning. The time is now half past nine. Um, Matt, I think I did say Matt's finished college now, um, which means he's working. He works um, quite often in holidays when he's not at college, just doing um, like general labour. So I gave him a lift down to work this morning because it was raining. It's not far away, but it was it was raining. Um, and then I nipped to home base. Hi, birdies. Nipped to home base, got a couple of little bits, do a home base haul. I got some washing up liquid, not that I particularly would normally pay home base prices, but I keep forgetting every time I go shopping, I keep forgetting to get washing up liquid and I'm like down to the very, very last bit. I also got a house plant. I'm gonna try again. I don't know if that's too big. Oh no. I'm gonna try again. Um I think, I guess the problem, I know nothing about plants. I'm guessing the problem is drainage. Is it? Anybody? Is it because there's no holes in this and it's not draining properly? Because every house plant I have just died. Or is it because it's so dark in here? I don't know. Um, so anyway, we'll try again. And then I got these drawers which were £10. The reason being, um, Matthew's got quite a small wardrobe and quite a lot of clothes. And I have a sneaky suspicion that Father Christmas is going to be bringing him some more clothes. So I thought perhaps this could go in the bottom of his wardrobe. Um, there is already stuff in the bottom of his wardrobe, but it's all just crap, basically, that he doesn't use. So clear that out and hopefully they fit in. I'll give that a try. Anyway, um, so that's that. And um, my mum has just picked Nesco up for me so that I can let the birds have a good fly around and um, clean their cage out. So that's the plan for this morning. Oh, all oh, them little claws hurt on my shoulder. They do. What you looking at? Where's oh, Sparky? Sparky! Sparky girl, is she not coming? Hey Sparky girl. I can't really reach you there, let me turn around. Let me turn, oh! Here she is, here she is. Hey, come in. Let go, come and go there. the no not all the jobs are done all the jobs are definitely not done the bird's cage is done the living room is hoovered um and some washing up is done i'm now going to collect nesca birds are away they've had a good time out bless them so just had some guys knocking on the door saying they were here to sweep the chimney i said i don't think you are i don't know where they were meant to be going but they're not going to get a lot out of there are they Right, anyway, I'm full of interesting little stories, Anna. <laughs> um, I, un I unpackaged my plant. It's massive. That's good though, doesn't it? Let's see how green I can keep it and how alive I can keep it. Any tips, welcome. What happens when you try and get Nesca out of the car? It's a bloody nightmare. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on, Nesca. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Okay, so finally, finally got Nesca out of the car and we had a little walk around the green and then came home. Um, Dexter's been on my shoulder this morning without my, like, my, like on my bare skin. Oh, it doesn't look that, can you see it's really red, it really hurts, his little nails have scratched me. Oh, right, anyway, I'm just going to carry on doing some housework. So I decided that I would um, sort Matt's work this coats hanging everywhere that I don't know what to do with but I've put them drawers in his wardrobe so they fit nicely in there that's just got his tracky bottoms in that one's free and then he's just got that extra room now for 
Any new clothes? No, oh, so it's been a few hours since I last checked in. I apologise, I've just been non-stop doing housework and then uh, to go back over to us. I went to Asda because Nesca, for the second time, has eaten, well she hasn't eaten, but she has unwrapped Lily's chocolate. Um, so, she just unwrapped it, she hasn't actually eaten it, she just takes the foil off it, which is good, so at least I don't have to worry about her eating it. Um, but so it meant I had to go back to Asda to replace it again. They didn't have the same one, so I've had to get a different one. And it just took forever. Town, traffic, literally every direction you go is just horrendous. Everyone's like finishing for Christmas, aren't they? And on their travels and schools have finished early and all that stuff. So that took forever. Um, but I did that, came home. Matthew's finished now, it's quarter past four. And he's only gone and given her a bloody Christmas bone again that I'd already given her once and replaced it. And it's like, oh, for goodness sakes, I don't want to replace it again. But I've got my mum's dogs. They come here on Christmas morning usually. Um, so there was three of them and now there's only two of them. So, And I've just been to Azra. I could have replaced it. I only replaced it yesterday. Right, anyway, I'm just going to have a little something to eat because I haven't eaten since this morning and I'm hungry. Um, and then I'm going to take Nesca for a little walk. Probably just leave my phone at home because it's dark and leave it charging. And then I think Robin's coming around tonight for tea and possibly gift exchange. I'm not sure. I've got his gifts. I don't know if he's got mine though. But um, yes, yeah, so that's planned. Matthew's finished work. Um, he's working. He's not working now till after Christmas. Back. And then also his boss said today because he works in the holidays when he's off college or school. He was at school when he started, I think. Um, but he said now that there's probably enough work for him to work when he's off college, like on his day off Thursday or something. So hopefully they might sort that out soon. I think Matt's on his phone, I can hear him. Sorry, I'm just trying to over listen to his conversation. <laughs> so we are home, me and Nesca, soaking wet. The reason, um, well, not the reason, but the place we walked was I needed to pick up something from a shop. Um, a present that's been ordered. And when I got there, dogs aren't allowed in. So I was like, for God's sake. So I had to like, just basically walk back home through town, which is mega busy because it's Black Eye Friday. Um, I think that's a national thing, is it? Like where all the trades people finish work for Christmas and go out. And it's just full of like laddie lads. It's only... Well, it's 25 past five now, but I think it's about half four when I set off. Uh, excuse me. And there's just like drunk lads everywhere just being proper loud. And then, but that's fine, whatever. You're having fun, aren't they? Um, but then walking back um, through town, fireworks started going off and Nesca was terrified and she started like breathing funny and she was trying to like run off and obviously I had her on a lead, but it's a bit, oh God, it's a bit scary. Anyway, we are home going to take my wet coat off. My back's really hurting. I don't know what I've done, but I'm a bit worried because tomorrow is our busiest day of the year, Saturday before Christmas. Hairdressers will know what I'm talking about. Do any hairdressers or barbers watch this? Oh, 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 my back. So, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I've, like, lifted something heavy, but I can't remember lifting anything heavy today. I don't know. Oh, I need to go and move my car because it's on double yellows as well. So I've just been for a bath, which is lovely. Um, I don't think Robin's coming round anymore because he's got to go to his mum's. Uh, time is quarter to eight now. So I think I'm just going to watch... Um, my sister and niece told me to watch something called Insatiable, I think it's called, on Netflix. They said it's very funny, so um, I think I might give that a watch. And just chill out. My back's still hurting. The bath hasn't really helped it, so I might have to take some anti-inflammatories and hopefully by the morning that's all sorted. I hope, because like I said, tomorrow is going to be a busy, busy day. Ugh. There's a well-hidden bone, 
wonder where on earth that bone could have gone, Nesca. Where's it gone? Well and truly buried. Oh, should check in. Yeah. Nothing to see here. So I've had my painkillers. The time is about, I think it's about ten past nine. Not yet, ten past nine. I just looked at my tablet. So I've come to bed. I've got my hot chocolate and I've come to bed. <laughs> Ah, rock and roll, eh? Rock and roll. But I want to get a ha well, hopefully get a half decent night's sleep. And then tomorrow, just get tomorrow done. Just get it done. I finish work on Monday, but Monday won't be too bad. Um, I'm going to go and let Nesca out now. She always does this. As soon as I get in bed, I try and get her to go out. She won't go out. Then as soon as I come upstairs, then she scratches at the back door. Right, anyway, I'm going to sign off. I shall see you all tomorrow.